Hello again, everybody. It's Norm. I decided to sneak down into our laundry room. I wanted to see if I could pull this off without Peggy knowing about it. I don't think she'd be too mad, but she has all the storage space downstairs that I put up this heavy-duty shelving for, like I used in the kitchen and out in the garage. And you can see that she has quite a collection. This is all stuff she's going to uh, put out as throughout the year. And lots of islip pictures. And I actually started liking these about the same time she did. And when I started buying a few, she didn't seem to hesitate or complain. And I think they're pretty neat myself. When I was out of high school, I went to college for a couple of years, didn't know what I wanted to do. I ended up working in a printing and engraving shop in downtown Minneapolis for a member of our church. And I decided to become a steel die pressman and you do engrave letterheads, wedding announcements and all of that. And that led to foil stamping and everything else in the industry. So I got a four-year apprenticeship and I became a journeyman steel die pressman but what I think the reason is I like these so much is when you look at the paint that's on these isolate pictures they're so neat it's such a nice heavy coating I just like looking at it and I think wow that is really cool I like the geometric shapes anything with boats on it kind of partial to uh, turquoise and we always try to find these when they're in perfect shape. No scratches in the paint. And uh, if you can get them in mint condition, that really helps because there's going to be some point in our time where we're going to want to resell this stuff. And when that happens, we're going to need it and looking at this pristine condition as it can. So that's what that's all about. I should tell you guys another quick story about working in that printing engraving shop. We were on the third floor of a building downtown and when you got in the morning you had to take an elevator up to the third floor and it was always a dark hallway and I didn't have a key to the shop at that time. And one morning I came up there and down at the end of the hall in the dark there was just one light in the whole ceiling in the whole hallway so it was pretty dim. There was this girl standing in the corner. First time I'd ever seen her. And I said, hi, how are you? And she said, fine. And I said, are you uh, waiting to get into the print shop? And she said, yes. So I introduced myself and she said her name was Peggy. And she was very pretty and cute. And I thought, wow, she's a keeper. So I decided to find out a little more about her and throughout the day we had lunch together in the shop like everybody always sat around a table and we would just talk about stuff and I asked her if I could give her a ride home and uh, she said that would be fine. So I did. I uh, took her home that first day and then I actually took her home every day after that. I was able to pick her up, bring her to work and take her home. And she told her mom when she first came home, she said, Don't know, there's this guy at the shop and he brings me home in his car. And now he wants to take me, pick me up and take me to work every day. I'm not interested in finding a boyfriend right now. But anyway, we ended up getting married and it worked out okay. Getting back to all the stuff here. Uh, she's got Pyrex down here stacked up. And if you're familiar with Applesauce comes in six packs, Musselman's and a few other brands. So when I'm through with them, Peggy says, save me the cup. And she sticks them inside the Pyrex here to stack them up so they're not scratching each other. This is kind of important here. This is Wisconsin white birch popcorn. And you put that in that little measuring cup. You put it in this Nordic Ware popper, which is a Minnesota company, they make bunt pans and other items. And then you stick it in a microwave down here and you press the magic button 
the popcorn and about two and a half minutes later you got some really good popcorn so that's great love popcorn with hot butter on it and up here she's got a lot of sets of glassware glasses glasses more glasses pyrex you name it she's got it almost maybe i should pan a little slower it says you pan too fast so when the popcorn is all done in the meantime i have this exhaust fan here this wall is the basement laundry room wall and it backs up to the garage wall and from my garage tour that I did I explained I had a shop back out there so I put another hole in the wall to exhaust the fumes out from the popcorn smell just plug that in manually to a outlet with a cord and here is the uh, switch downstairs for the shop vac so she's kind of happy that I did that for her and she uses it to suck lint out of the dryer here here's another one of these mixers she's got a yellow one upstairs Got the red one down here, so when Christmas time, Christmas time comes, I gotta lug this thing upstairs. I'll straighten that out later. And some more glassware. She's taking up every little space that doesn't need to be from all the stuff you need for your house. These two containers up here are roasting pans and they have all the lids to the Pyrex bowls down here that are those oblong flat bowls. She stacks them up in there with uh, bubble wrap between them so that works pretty good getting down to the other end of the room here sorry for the look in the ceiling of all the cables but I know where they all go to after I got out of the printing and engraving trade I got into computers and I was a network analyst for a mental health clinic for many years and I did wiring and cabling in the server room and stuff like that that looked a lot better than this does but when this is your own you don't really care that much and down here are more birds. She loves these crazy birds. So every time I go to a thrift store or even sometimes an antique shop, there's a mushroom down there. She'll see if she can twist my hand, take it home. And then I don't see it for a few months until all of a sudden it pops up in the living room. This is a canister set she got from her brother. He's given her many, many things over the years, as she's mentioned in a lot of videos. That's a nice set. And she's got some thrifted canisters up here that she purchased. This is uh, the shade for that lamp over there. Attach it to the ceiling to keep it, get it out of the way. As you can see, we're packed in for a laundry room. It's pretty crowded. I like the uh, I like these with the uh, pheasants in them and uh, cattails. These are they're really nice. Got someone back there with more cattails, and then down below more milk glass, and then she's got eggnog mugs. You name it, she's got it. These are all different sets she has. And she has the bowls, and the bowls are all different. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think down here there's a couple more. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I've never had eggnog or a punch in any of them. Down below here, we have a few of these left. These are Lucite napkin holders. And we had quite a few of them over the years. Bought them pretty reasonable when they first came out, and now they're really getting popular. And because we've had a lot of roosters, are real popular models. So uh, we have sold a lot of those and made a little bit of money on them. Got a neat one down here. It's a Christmas tree with glitter in it for Christmas time. And uh, then more birds over here. There we go. 
a little while over here. More milk glass. Glass over here. I like this picture here. Looks like Peg's working on putting some roosters away. She's got bins for everything. Down here is a, uh, it's an ashtray. We don't smoke, but we've seen this in a thrift store. Peg and I thought it was kind of neat. I think she said she paid like $2.25 for it. And this is kind of an example of what we like. Uh, a lot of graphics, neat painting, and that's kind of what led me into liking the isolate pictures and uh, talking about the quality of the ink that they use on them and that of course led me into my story of working in the print shop and uh, and I got into talking about how we ended up meeting so I just thought of something else when we were still single and working in the print shop together and riding back and forth in my car in the winter time uh, we were up on the third floor in the parking lot for the cars or down right below the window in the back of the building by the So Peggy I, I had opened up the window and Peggy would stick her fingers in her mouth and Whistle really loud. I don't know how people do that. I can't do it, but she can do it really well and then she would jump out of the way of the window and then I would jump in there like it was me doing the whistling and the guys down here who were parking the cars and getting them ready for people because they park them three deep, they'd look up because they were starting to get used to us doing this every time. And I'd holler down to the guys, hey guys, it's Norm, will you start my Chevelle and warm it up? And we'll be down in a few minutes. And they'd holler back up and say, sure Norm, will do. This is kind of a crazy story here. This is a internet radio by National Public Radio. And it plugs into our network at home, and you can see it's running, uh, it's playing 60s and 50s hits. I got the volume down, I've got extra speakers on it. I paid $19.50 for it, came in the box, it's got a remote on there. And it's quite elaborate, actually. Um, you can pick any genre you want, and any radio station in the world that is on the internet, you can pick it up. So if you want to spend the time to skim through there you can find some pretty interesting stuff so that's kind of a neat thing I like to listen to music when I'm biking or art class down not art class no class down here uh, one thing out in the garage I didn't show because it was down on the floor and my workbench was a mess I didn't show the floor all that much but maybe you caught a glimpse of it there was a rowing machine out there I love boats and I like to row around and row boats it's good exercise so I I bought a rowing machine from an uh, exercise shop here in Maple Grove. And I wanted to get a bike too for biking in the winter. It's kind of hard to do that with all the snow in Minnesota. Uh, the rowing machine was a demo, so I got a discount on that. So that was kind of like a thrifted device purchase. And this is uh, a Swin Air Diner, quite expensive, and I was looking at it, and the salesman said, you know, I've got one in the back room, a couple brought back, they only had it a week. And if you want to go with that, I can get you a discount on it, maybe save you a couple hundred dollars. So I got on it, tried it, everything looked good, and it was all put together. So I said, okay, let's do that. I couldn't get it in the back of my van, so I went back home and got our garden trailer, brought it over and tied it down and hauled it down the basement here. It's pretty heavy, so I got the idea of taking these furniture glides. They're plastic, you can get them from U-Haul. And plastic on the bottom, rubber on the top, you set something on it that you want to move, like a dresser for instance, all four corners. And you can just slide it across the carpet so it makes it easy for me to pull this out if we need to get anything that's on the wall. And over here, I've got a stash of spray cans. She loves to spray stuff. I'm lucky I'm the same color that I was when I was born. She says, I'm going to spray this thing when I get it home black or gold. So I gotta be pretty quick to uh, outrun Peggy. Yeah, she loves spraying stuff. But many times Peggy said, you know, when we go to sell this house, Norm, the shelving is what's going to sell it. 
I started thinking about that, and I thought, well, yeah, actually, there's shelving in the garage, upstairs in the kitchen, you name it, we got shelving, and now down here in the laundry room. So I thought the ad for selling the house should be house for sale. Buyer needs to be a pack rat and love gardening. And if we can find a person who fits all that requirements, that'll that'll work. So over here we have uh, I've got a cloth down here. It's got some clips on it. I got three clips. And if I take these clips and I hang them up on these little hooks hanging down right here, another one over here, and another one right down there, uh, we drape it over the uh, washing machine. And then we use it for when we're photographing items for sales on eBay. Got good lighting in here. So we spread it out, set the item down there, and we will make a, a small video if it's like a say a department 56 house that's got some moving action to it or just a shot for multiple shots for an item you're selling on eBay up in the ceiling I've got bubble wrap hanging down there and then down under the table here we got more stuff for wrapping material and out in the garage so that, uh, that's what that's all about. I gotta get out of here because she's Peggy. I think she's doing a video upstairs, a thrift haul, and I wanted to uh, see if I could talk her and allow me to show all this. One last thing, um, this is uh, sheet metal ductwork for our furnace. She's got a collection of magnets, quite a bit, and she uses them for holding up things that she puts on the refrigerator upstairs in the kitchen, hot pads and stuff like that. So she'll stick them on over here. This is kind of interesting. Looks like the scissors. Um, yeah, what the heck it is. It's the scissors. How yeah, they think of everything? So, she's got a couple of Lucite items there. Love Lucite. More bins down under. Cats and dogs. Birds and more birds and swans. Farm animals. Horses and owls. Lucite thingies. Thingies. Hens and chicks. Pheasants and a box down there that got some paperwork in, I think. We also have them under the bed. <laughs> And the bed, she's got more bins with linens and stuff. So, okay, I gotta get out of here before she starts wondering where I am. I hope you enjoyed it. And we appreciate all your comments, as she always mentions in the videos too. So thank you very much. Bye now.